More than 2,000 years ago, a Greek mathematician by the name of Pythagoras had some very interesting things to say. In fact, it was nearly 600 BC when he said, if you take a triangle of a particular shape, one that has a right hand in one corner, then you can predict something about squares that come out from the sides of those triangles. Take this triangle, for example. It has sides, let's say, three, four, and five centimetres. Well, mine are a bit bigger than centimetres, but those are the ratios of the sides, three, four, and five. Pythagoras said, if you make a square coming out from the smallest side and another square that comes out of the other side coming around the right angle, then those two squares together, added up in area, will equal the area of a square on the third side, that diagonal side, that hypotenuse, as he called it. Well, is that true? Have a look at it. What do you think? You might be saying, wait a minute, I think the two small squares make up an area larger than that one, or smaller. Can you prove it? It can be proved mathematically. In fact, if you take geometric figures and you draw lines across and go through pages of mathematics, you can actually prove that it's true. But I think there's a simpler way of proving it visually, just with a pair of scissors. What do I mean? This. Take that smallest of the three squares and put it on top of the biggest of the three squares. And then take the middle size one and fold it in halves. Yeah, crease it down the middle. Fold it in halves again. And then flatten it out. And if you've done all this accurately, you can now, with a pair of scissors, cut away one quarter of the middle size square and you end up with an L-shaped piece and a small square. Cut the smaller, smallest of the squares now in halves and you'll find that you can fit the L-shaped piece around the corner of that square there. It's almost covered the big square and the two small pieces will exactly cover that large square. In other words, the squares on the two small sides of that triangle do equal the square on the large side. Can you think of any other numbers that it might work for besides 3, 4 and 5? You might be saying, what if we multiply each of those by 2 and look at 6, 8 and 10? Let's have a look at the calculator and see if it works for those. Well, a square of side 6 centimetres will have an area of 6 times 6 or 36 square centimetres. Add to that 8 times 8. And we end up with, that's 8 times 8, 64, add that onto 36, and you get 100 square centimetres, which, of course, is 10 squared. So that does work for a triangle of 6, 8, and 10 centimetre sides. See if you can work out another triangle for which this works. Mm -hmm.